Let's have a look at how OneNote is currently being used in classrooms. So we're first going to look at it from the student's point of view. How does a student use OneNote? Well, one obvious choice is using it for class notes, so that's good. Making a record of those and sharing it with um, other students perhaps. Perhaps we could be using it to fill out worksheets, we'll have a look at that later. And research is another obvious choice, we can make some good notes and grab screenshots. We could be using it for drafts of some of our other documents that we're creating in our assignments, or perhaps presenting some portfolios. So those are some scenarios for students. Let's have a look now at the teacher's point of view. How does a teacher use OneNote? So teachers can use it to share content with students. There are some schools that might be using OneNote from within OneDrive or OneDrive for Business and sharing their content with their students in one direction. So this is one way to, to use it. Teachers may also be using it to plan out their lessons, perhaps just getting some ideas down on paper to figure out how to order certain things within the lesson, Oop. and resources as well. Um, we can use it for worksheets, planning those out and making them within OneNote rather than on paper. And teachers, of course, need to perform their own research and get things together to form those lessons and lesson plans. So the other scenario too for using a notebook, probably a few less schools are using this at this stage, is for collaboration. And one way that I like to use it is using it as a whiteboard, projecting it onto the wall with a data projector and um, using it to display the content that might usually be on a whiteboard. Of course there's collaboration, getting things together on the same page, getting some contributions from students and maybe some feedback from the lesson itself. And this might be in, in a two-way situation if uh, the teachers figured out how to use that with OneNote. The other obvious choice too is using it for group work. So a group of students can work all together on the same OneNote notebook and that can be in a two-directional way, sharing information, um, whether it be research or, or getting things together for their projects. And one other way that has been used, it's quite clever too, is when we talked about students having portfolios that we can share those portfolios with parents. So making this notebook available outside of school, parents can see it too.